my people, my people, how you doing? Bless up yourself. Big up to all my yardy fans, them subscribers, viewers. Thank you guys for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a very quick style. I'm gonna be doing some flat twist along with some chunky twists to complete the style. So I was actually going to a funeral and I didn't have any plans for my hair. Um, I didn't know what to do with it. I was already dressed and I was contemplating a ponytail but then I didn't have the time because I was late and the ponytail would have taken some time to dry. Um, Normally, if I'm doing a ponytail and I don't allow my edges and the styling gel that I put in there to dry properly, I normally tend to have a lot of flyaway hairs and my edges just revert back to coiling. Um, so I didn't want to do a ponytail, so I just came up with this quick twist. So I sectioned the back part, a little part at the back, and I sectioned the front. So for the remaining section, which is the middle, I'm just doing some medium sized flat twist down. And I'm gonna be doing this all around. And then for the back portion, I'm going to be doing three chunky twists, two strand twists, and I'm going to be doing some chunky twists at the front as well to create a pompadour. So you guys can just watch and see. Now another thing that you can do if you're going to recreate this style, I did not use any product except some beeswax. I forgot to mention, I did use some Morris beeswax into the hair. Um, so it was light amount. I just kind of glide it onto the surface and just brush it in. Um, but what I realized is that my hair was actually a bit dry when I was done. And um, there were a lot of flyaway hairs. So what I would suggest, I strongly suggest, if you're going to recreate this style, you can use um, an edge control or you can use some form of jam, like a shine and jam, and just base around each twist before you actually do it. And then that would actually make it look much shinier and um, the hair would have been tamed to some extent yeah and it would look actually neater and juicier and healthier and shinier and all of that good stuff i didn't do that to my hair so that's my only regret but overall i did like the way it turned out Now my hair is also in need of a trim. I have not trimmed my hair in like forever. I've been natural for quite a some time now and I have never had a trim since I've become natural. So my hair ends are a bit trashy and um, I think I have some amount of split ends too. Maybe, I don't know, maybe. Alright, so I have completed all my twists. Now all I'm doing is just um, um, putting the twist in the direction that I want. So for the back section, um, I took the twist on the left and crossed them to the right. And then I'm going to take the twist on the right and cross them over to the left. So I'm just crisscrossing them. And basically that's the same thing I'm going to be doing for the smaller twist at the bottom as well. I'm just going to crisscross them until I achieve the desired look that I'm hoping to get. So there we have it, that's the back. And for the front, I'm going to do the very same thing. I'm just going to pin it up and create a pompadour. 
So I'm just basically playing around with the twist until I get the style or the look that I am satisfied with. And that's about it. It's quick, it's easy, it's really simple. It's cost effective, doesn't cost anything um, to create this style really. Um, minimum amount of products used. Now you could also accessorize this style. I just went simple. Um, and um, for the ends right there, what I did was just kind of tuck them under so that the hair end wasn't um, poking through or poking out. I also wanted this style to be really simple and um, I think the updo um, complemented my outfit along with my earring. I didn't want to overdo it and because of the neckline on my top, I just wanted a simple style that goes up. Usually updos are nice with turtlenecks. so. I actually like the way it looked. You can share your thoughts down below and let me know what you think. You can also let me know if you would have done it differently. Now I'm just laying my edges and that's about it. The style would be completed then. So like I said, you can go ahead and do your twist. I would highly recommend that you do your twist with some form of something that has some form of a little bit of hold and sheen. So the jam would be perfect or an edge control. Now I did have other products in my hair, it's not freshly washed. So that's the reason why you're seeing the white residue there. But that all disappeared as soon as the gel starts to dry. Now if you're watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscription button, it's right below the video to your right. And be sure to share with a friend. I'm sure you have friends with natural hair. You can just share with a friend and um, leave your comments down below. So there's the final look, that's the back. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. There we have it. Thank you guys. Bye and have a good one. Love y'all.